All right, remember this from the other day? I told you that the technician didn't read the instructions that came in the booklet, that this only had three ounces of oil in it, should have six ounces. This whole system is a 10 ounce system and uh, they didn't flush the condenser. So, and there's usually almost no oil in a condenser anyway, but the evaporator is another story and this did run low on refrigerant, so I know it's up in there. This is a new Reman condenser. It doesn't look like it because that was my dirty stuff from spraying looking for leaks on here that dried out. That's on top of there. But it's a Reman old school. I don't think it's Reman. It's more like they cleaned it and painted it. It passed some simple tests and they barely did anything to it and sold it in a box for seasons. Um, the blue oil that came out was the GM blue oil that we're used to, 150 viscosity, and that's the unusual thing, it's 150 viscosity. We don't use that no more. So I actually had to go out and buy some because I don't stock it anymore. I, ha I used to get it by the, literally by the cases and gallons. Uh, I used to do a lot of retrofits on old, old school stuff with complete flush outs. Uh, the modern day Yorks and Tecumsehs that are replacements are built to tighter specs and no longer use the 150 viscosity. And that is why I was very surprised when I seen the blue oil pull up, pour out of there. Uh, I said, I gotta see, where's the manual at? And he dug it out and, uh, and he said, yeah, it said 150 viscosity on this thing. So I'm putting back 150 viscosity. Now this had a aluminum seal on it, even though I hate PAG or POE oil in plastic, I have positive pressure going. Remember I left this, I had this under vacuum. And uh, because I got it down to one or 200 microns of vacuum, I left it on overnight. I want to see if there's leaks. You should not leave vacuum over because if there is leaks, you just pull in all the moisture, but I didn't have a leak. Um, so I hooked up and I put under positive pressure. I now have a really slow nitrogen purge going into this thing. So there's nitrogen coming out of that oil drain plug over there, the oil fill plug right there. There's nitrogen pushing out. And actually it pushed my oil back. And um, so now, as you can see, I'm gonna fill it up. Very simple. I never exposed it to the air other than what was just in this little tube here. And I had nitrogen pushing backwards through the tube. The tube was purged. The, the foil seal was never open to the air. I just punctured the little uh, pickup tube right through the foil seal and screwed it on and there's a constant purge of flow of nitrogen after I spent all that time yesterday drying out the system. And I positive, just before opening it, because uh, it was under vacuum, I put nitrogen at two or three PSI pressure. When I took that drain plug off, and that smell, the nitrogen, with the putrid smell of moisture in the system, like, um, oh, think of a men's locker room or a bathroom, where water was spilt on the floor on a hot humid day and left there for three weeks without ever drying kind of kind of a moldy smell and that's it we're, we're done deal um so that's the smell that hit me in the noise a lot of moisture even though i dried the shit out of a, of a very putrid smell of dirty water and moldy clothes and that's from the guys who contaminate the system before and leave it in there and when you cut open the old receiver dryer it's all filled with rust crumbs on the inside that plugged up the expansion valve that caused the restriction to starve the old compressor and you end up with this because of the guys who believe oh 20 minutes is going to take out all the moisture fuck you all right i'll see you guys and those guys who screw up customers by leaving lots of moisture and they become very very expensive repairs especially when you start started getting into some of these old classic cars the few that have real rare parts on them uh, because of the damage guys did before by not doing good vacuum years later cost customers a lot of money see you guys later